On January 17, 1991, a Tomahawk missile was launched to announce the beginning of the Gulf War. Missiles precisely striking targets, like a scene from a computer game astounded people. Tomahawk missiles struck major military facilities of the Iraq Armed Force, pulverizing the Iraqi forces' will to fight. Tomahawk missile that showed impressive performance during the Gulf War has become the byword for cruise missiles. Tomahawk missile is usually launched from war vessels to strike ground targets. The main targets are enemies' missile bases, power plants, airfields, and air defense facilities. Tomahawk missile has many strengths. As Tomahawk missile flies at low altitudes, radar is hardly detected, and the missile precisely strikes targets. Airstrike with fighter or bomber has danger of aircraft loss or pilot being captured. However, there is no concern of such for Tomahawk, even when the missile is intercepted. In addition, Tomahawk missile is much cheaper than a fighter, so there is less financial burden on those employing the missile. Therefore, numerous Tomahawk missiles are used to destroy enemies' major facilities once a war begins. For this reason, Tomahawk is also known as Flare of War. Tomahawk missile is cylinder-shaped, and there are main wings in the middle and tail fins on the tail. It is 5.6 meters in length and 6.25 meters long when the booster is attached. The weight is 1.5 metric ton, diameter is 52 centimeters, and the wingspan is 2.67 meters. The missile's velocity is approximately 880 kilometers per hour, and the maximum range is 2,500 kilometers. On the head of the missile, an imaging infrared seeker is mounted. Guiding devices such as inertial navigation system INS, terrain contour matching, and digital scene matching area correlation are attached behind the seeker. Basically, Tomahawk missile finds and strikes the target with inertial navigation system. However, errors accumulate in the inertial navigation system over time and make a great deviation from the target later. Therefore, a method to compensate the errors is required. Tomahawk missiles use a method of referring to terrain to compensate for errors in inertial navigation systems. First, the missile uses the terrain contour matching. Terrain contour matching uses differences in terrain. It first divides the flight area into 100-meter sectors, calculates the average height of each sector, and generates a digital map. Then, the data is input to the missile. The missile measures the height with a radar altimeter during the flight. Then, it compares the measured height with the digital map entered before to correct the error. However, it is hard to apply this method in naval or desert environment, where height difference in terrain is rare. On that account, some missiles detoured around deserts and flew above the points with different terrains. Such a detouring had disappeared as GPS was added to the missile after the end of the Gulf War. In the terrain contour matching, all the terrain information must be input. Unlike in the recent days, it was difficult to acquire terrain information in the past. Hence, it was almost impossible to enter diverse cruising courses. During the Gulf War, Tomahawk missiles were detected and attacked by Iraqi forces as they repeatedly flew on the same course. Tomahawk missile suffered 80 meters or more severe deviation from the intended target even with the help of the inertial navigation system and terrain contour matching. In the early stage, Tomahawk missile was invented to convey a nuclear warhead. Therefore, a small deviation did not matter that much. However, Tomahawk missile mounted with a conventional warhead cannot make an explosion as large as that of a nuclear warhead. This means the necessity of better guidance system for the missile. Tomahawk missiles used during the Gulf War additionally use digital scene matching area correlation. Digital scene matching area correlation is a method to take a photograph of the terrain with a camera and comparing the taken photograph with a photograph input in advance. This method can be used regardless of the heights of terrain and features high accuracy as buildings can be recognized also. To use digital scene matching area correlation method, photographs should be input to missiles in advance. The photographs are converted into digital images computer can easily recognize and input. However, only the photographs of the target and its surroundings are input as it is difficult to input photographs of every region the missile will fly over, and they are used only once or twice when the missile is close to the target. In digital scene matching area correlation method, photographs may alter depending on time and weather. Therefore, the latest Tomahawk missiles use an imaging infrared seeker. With Imaging Infrared Seeker, missile can read terrain and recognize and strike the target in the last phase. Using infrared rays means usability in nighttime, and if a missile precisely hit the target can be verified, because images can be viewed. 
Tomahawk missile improved accuracy with these technologies. Behind the guiding devices is a data link. With the data link connected to satellites, the missile can continuously communicate with its commander. The missile may receive new orders even during the cruising. If the mission changes, it may steer and strike a new target. Behind the data link, a warhead weighing approximately 450 kilograms is mounted. Some warheads are armed with dispersing submunitions to attack a wide area at once. In the middle, there is a fuel tank and kerosene type fuel is used. Wings span on the sides. Wings are folded for storage in the main body and unfolded after the launch. Large wings generate lift force to allow the missile to fly stably. An engine inlet is placed on the bottom of the missile and a turbofan engine is placed on the tail. Engine is tilted little downward to fit the engine inlet. Tail fins are beside the engine. Tail fins control direction and attitude of the missile. Tail fins are also folded before the launch and unfolded after the launch. On the rearmost of the missile, a rocket booster is mounted. The rocket boost combusts fuel for approximately 10 seconds to lift the altitude and velocity of the missile. Once the combustion is over, the rocket booster is separated and the missile flies with a jet engine. After the launch, the missile uses the inertial navigation system to fly and GPS signal to correct the errors. Once the missile approaches an enemy radar fence, it lowers the altitude. Missile flying low is hard to detect because mountains or buildings disrupt the radar signal. When the missile flies over the ground, it adjusts the cruising course with terrain contouring matching. Once it approaches the target, it recognizes and strikes the target with a digital scene matching area correlation. It may wait for the commander's order roaming around the target until the attack is confirmed. Tomahawk flies in a speed similar to that of passenger planes. Although it is very slow compared to other missiles, it can freely steer. Therefore, Tomahawk missile may detour around the enemy's air defense network and change the target and strike the new target. Large-scale airstrike with bombers is powerful but not precise. Airstrike with fighters may put pilots in danger. However, Tomahawk missile is free from friendly casualty. Ballistic missile is fast and has a long range, but it requires a large launch pad and is prone to be detected by enemy radar. Also, precise strike is difficult because it is hard to control the attitude in the terminal phase. However, Tomahawk missile allows precise strike because it can control the cruising course to the end. Tomahawk missile is hard to detect because it is small and flies at low altitudes. The latest Tomahawk missiles has become even more precise so that they may fly through a window when launched from 1600 kilometers away. Stealth function is reinforced to lower the possibility of being detected by radar even more. Also, multiple Tomahawk missiles can be launched from multiple surface vessels and submarines to strike multiple targets at once. For these reasons, Tomahawk missile is an important weapon system that is used at the outbreak of a war. Because of Tomahawk missile's strength that it can complete airstrike missions without any concern over safety of fighter or pilot, the United States used this missile system in many military campaigns since the Gulf War. Missile is the fastest weapon system human has invented. It is a weapon that integrates the most advanced technologies. Recently, hypersonic missiles that travels faster than Mach 5 are being invented. Against such missiles, Tomahawk missile may seem like an old-fashioned technology. However, being fast is not always better. Flying faster requires larger size of the missile and costs that are more expensive by several folds. Weapon systems are effective when each of these factors are appropriately combined to accommodate the particulars of the warfare. A new technology will eventually replace Tomahawk missile. But. The latter will continue to stand as the missile that declares an outbreak of a war.